I'll just be walking in a park and I'll stumble upon castle ruins from like the 1400s. My mood just goes when it's rainy. I probably moved to the absolute worst country for that. <laughs> Ask 20 year old me and I would have been fine with going to the pub every week, but I think I'm just, I'm just too old for that stuff. I never expected that. If you don't know me yet, my name is Jackie. I am a Canadian who's living in Manchester, England. I moved here about three months ago to be with my formerly long distance boyfriend, Danny, who is from here. I cannot believe that it's already been three months since I've been here. I feel like it's gone by so fast. The first two to three months were definitely like honeymoon phase because me and my boyfriend were living long distance for two and a half years and then we weren't able to see each other at all for the whole last year since COVID and all of that. The first little bit was definitely lovey-dovey and then it's only really been the last, I would say two weeks that everything's really sunken in and with that comes inevitable homesickness. I have seen a lot of these videos from expats um, kind of sugarcoating the whole process of moving to another country and the truth of the matter is is that while it's a great experience and you learn and change a lot, it also sucks. It's sad, it's awkward, uh, there's a lot of things that you don't expect and it's pretty lonely at times and I want to talk about both sides of that because that's what my experience is. So let's start with the not so great things so that we can end on a high note. One of the most difficult things for me to adjust to is the humor. I don't get it. I have a hard time figuring out if somebody is just teasing me or if they're genuinely being mean. For the most part, I know that they're not being mean. I'm totally fine with people that I know very well teasing me. I think that that's quite normal, but when it's somebody that I either just met or I don't know at all teasing me, that throws me off. And I do feel like it is a part of British culture to kind of like poke fun at people or to tease people. It's kind of like a bonding thing here. I'm just not used to it yet. So it's something that I have to adjust to and just kind of go with the flow. I'm kind of a squishy person though, so it's a little bit difficult. Making friends is really hard. I think that making friends as an adult is hard anyway, but it makes it even more so when you're in a new country and you don't really understand the humor or the cultural things yet. It just kind of feels a little bit disconnected. I'm an extrovert, so it's a little bit easier for me to go out and put myself out there, but I do think in general, you have to be more bold if you wanna make friends in a new country. What I've started doing is I have joined some meetup groups um, I've also, I'm gonna be taking classes later in the fall in the hopes of meeting people who are into the same kinds of things as me. I also have, obviously Danny has friends here, so I've become friends with them as well. But I guess you just really have to put yourself out there more than you would. It can be awkward. I think it's really important to set up that kind of friend group because you need people to talk to when you're feeling lonely or unsure. So I've been here for three months now and I feel like I'm only just now starting to get into more of a routine with my days but the one thing that has been kind of throwing me off as well is I am so used to having dogs at my home in Texas we had two dogs and then before that I, I've always had dogs like it has been a part of my routine a part of my schedule to wake up in the morning and walk my dogs so that's been throwing me off quite a bit and we may be looking at getting a puppy <laughs> okay but more on that soon I'm not gonna just reveal that now but we're looking like soon <laughs> I fully expected to get homesick in the sense of missing my family and missing my dogs and my home and all of those things but what I didn't expect was to miss the ease of fitting in everywhere that you go. Obviously, my accent stands out. Uh, anytime I speak, people will ask me where I'm from, where my accent's from, how am I fitting in, am I liking it, etc. This is from people that I know and then people that I just meet. Like if I walk into a coffee shop and I start talking, I can see people's heads turn when they hear my accent, which I totally get because I would do the same if I was in Canada or the US and I heard a British accent, but sometimes I just wanna fit in. Like sometimes I just want to go somewhere and not have people asking me about how I'm different. When I'm trying to find ways to connect with people and fit in and find similarities, it's just, it just kind of, it's kind of frustrating to be continuously pointed out how different I am. You know, there have honestly been times where I've thought about just faking like some British accent just to kind of fit in for a second. Like sometimes, I just won't even open my mouth because I'm just, I'm tired of having the conversation about where I'm from and where my accent's from and all of those things. I never, 
expected that. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. The rain and the clouds are seriously getting to me. It rains almost every day, maybe not all day long, but at some point in the day, it's gonna be cloudy and it's gonna be rainy. Even if it's not rainy, there's definitely gonna be clouds and the weather changes every 15 minutes. Everyone here always says, oh, it's not as bad as what everyone in the rest of the world think it is. It doesn't rain all the time. It does. You just don't know any different. I'm really thinking I need to get one of those sad lamps, you know, the lamps that you sit under and it like gives you vitamins from the sun. I think honestly, I'm gonna have to invest in one of those because my mood just goes when it's rainy. I probably moved to the absolute worst country for that. <laughs> of course. Pub culture, for a while it's really fun and then it gets really exhausting. It is totally normal here for people to just pop into a pub for like one or two drinks multiple times a week. Everyone has a kind of local pub that they call the local which I think is so sweet. But for me, I'm like a go out one night a week kind of gal. I don't want to go into the pub every single day. So for me it is a little bit like Ugh. Like I feel like that just ruins the magic of it if you're going out multiple times a week This could honestly just be because I'm old now. Oh god, it is. That is. That's it. That's it Ask 20 year old me and I would have been fine with going to the pub every week But I think I'm just I'm just too old for that stuff. Also, I miss bars that sell food here You're either a restaurant or your bar slash pub. And most of the time the bars and pubs will only have like some crisps and some nuts behind the bar, but they don't really sell food. And I, I always get the munchies later on in the night. I do miss being able to order nachos at like 11.30 p.m. and have my drinks at the same time. I miss ranch dressing. I cannot find it except on Amazon and it is so expensive. Oh, I miss real tortilla chips, like the real kinds. I miss walking outside from an air-conditioned building and being slapped in the face with the humidity that is Texas. All right, enough about the negatives, let's go over the positives. I love that everything is so close to travel to. Like, I can take a train anywhere and be there in just a couple hours. In the US, if you wanna go anywhere, you have to hop on a plane to get there or prepare to drive hours and hours and hours. But here, it's just a short train ride and I love train rides anyway, it's like my favorite pastime. And then you're there and I love that. I love that there is so much documented history everywhere. In the US, I thought that things that were from the 1900s, like early 1900s, were old. But here, I'll just be walking in a park and I'll stumble upon castle ruins from like the 1400s. I love that. I obviously love being with my boyfriend in real life rather than just on the phone. Honestly, that's the one thing in my life here right now that I feel really good and stable and happy about. Uh, I wouldn't change anything about that. It's just been so lovely to be able to get to know each other in a different sort of way and um yeah i've been thinking about making a kind of like a four month update of what it's like living together after being long distance for so long let me know if you guys want that kind of video i think i might do that maybe i'll try to convince him to be in it i don't know we'll see i would say that overall i really like the culture i first came to the uk when i was in grade 11 so like 17 and immediately upon coming here i remember thinking i could live here like i just got really excited butterflies and like warm fuzzies and just a lot of happiness from being here and I'm definitely still feeling that so it excites me being here and I love that and I can't wait to see what else I can discover overall I'm just really really happy and grateful to be here I know that homesickness comes and goes like it's not something that is ever just gonna go away and I think there's just finding ways to make yourself more comfortable um, until it passes a little bit. I know that there's gonna be goods and bads and I wanna show all different sides to it. I wanna be as authentic as possible for you guys here and yeah, that's all I had to say in this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this whole thing. Um, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.